Hello and welcome to Splotch Code. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to make a single player Pong game. This is going to be part one of this series. Let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we are going to delete our cat sprite and go over and get a ball sprite. Oh, here it is. Now, I like the blue version of this ball, so we're going to go to costumes and choose ball B. Now, our ball is blue. Okay, now we're going to choose a backdrop. Let's have a look. Hmm, I like the stars backdrop. So we'll do that one. Okay, so now we are going to start doing some code on the ball. Grab the when flag clicked, go to x minus 7 and y 98. This puts them in the right position to start. Then we want point direction. 45. It's up there. Then we want it for to forever move 15 steps and let's go down here and if on edge, bounce. Now let's try out our code. So at the moment, our thing just bounces around like the ball will do in a Pong game. This is really cool. So now let's move on to the next part. Okay, so now we are going to make a new sprite. We are going to search paddle. Okay, here it is. There's a paddle. Now what we want to do is grab a when flag clicked forever loop go to x block or set x block and then go down into sensing in light blue can scroll all the way we can just press it mouse X and make sure it's around there it just stops there so now if we press the green flag except the ball doesn't hit our paddle at the moment it just goes straight through it so now what we want to do if you go back to the ball sprite and add a when flag clipped again we are going to make a variable now called score. And this will make it so it scores how many times we hit our ball. So we set the score to zero, then we grab a forever loop, then an if then. If Touching, and we grab a paddle. Then, and grab another if then, but times an if then else. Then, if, and we go down to sensing. I mean, sorry, motion. Sorry, scroll up motion and we find motion direction equals so we grab this one here and then we put the direction in this circle here it's equals one three five then we turn 90 degrees to that way so grab that block there 90. 
around that way. So, and then the other way, we go get the other side block, and now we turn it no, that way. So now we have a really good version of the single player Pong, but now we're going to make it so it moves 15 steps after the if then else. Then it waits one second so it doesn't get any weird. It wait, waits 0 0.1 seconds to make sure it doesn't do some weird glitch before changing the score. Grab a change variable, choose from the drop down menu, score by one. Now let's have a look at our game. Now it's looking very good. Every time we hit it, we get a point and it bounces around the screen, going to the way it's going. Okay, so now we are going to make a line sprite so that if the ball touches our line sprite, the game will end. So let's go to choose a sprite. And then there should be a search on the line. Here's a line sprite. Pretty big. Let's just slot it down the very low. As low as we can. There. Okay, so we'll put it there. And now we need to make it so if the ball hits it, it um, ends the game. So let's get a win flag clicked forever. I uh, will get a if statement sensing touching ball. So if it's touching ball, we're going to get it to play a sound until done. Now what the sound's going to be is we're going to go over to the sounds tab, choose a sound, and grab crunch. Now if you want to find out what this sounds like, yeah, that's crunch. So let's go to code. Play sound crunch until done. So after that, we want to make it so everything else stops and hides as we go to our game over screen. So let's get a broadcast message. New message. Call it stop. Okay, so once we've got the broadcast stop in there, we want this line sprite to hide. So we go scroll down, hide. And then after it hides, we want to make a game over backdrop. So let's go to backdrops. No, not choose a backdrop, paint backdrops. So here we can delete this first backdrop because we're not using that. And let's name it game over. Okay, so now we've got game over there. We're going to go to the text and change the color to black. We're also going to change the font here in this drop down menu onto pixel. So it looks pixely and it says game over. So now it says that, let's enlarge it a bit and go back over to the select tool and make it pretty big. Maybe not that big. That big. So it'll say that and everything else would have disappeared. Okay, so now what we also want to do is we go back to the line code and we, at the start of the game, we switch the backdrop to stars and then after it, that's all happened, we switch the backdrop to game over if it's touched the ball. Also, if it's touched the ball, we want to make it so it plays a nice sound. So let's go over to the sound browser and maybe find a 
sound but sort of so it's like a game over I found this one called search up elect piano loop that sort of sounds like a game over sound so now we have a electric piano loop so once we've got our electric piano loop we're gonna play that so we go to sounds play sound electric piano loop until done and then after that we go down to control and stop all so let's just have it frozen on the game over screen so we also want to make it so when we over on the ball will disappear when it receives our stop broadcast so let's make it so it looks hide and it goes control and it stops other scripts in sprite so you can't move it anymore then we also want to get a show and put that here now what we can do is we can move this into another sprite as well have it duplicated so we take it over to the paddle still in the ball we go into the paddle and it's also got our when i receive stop hide stop all other scripts in sprite so now our game should work it's need out a show so when flag clicked okay okay so our game is working except our line has still disappeared what we're going to do to fix this is we add a show here when flag clicked when it fixes, switches to stars so now if it does and then when we start again everything's back and we can play another game and try and complete this so now that's all for today's video thanks for watching splotch code